This is Will. You guys met him before. This is Cummins, 2019. Uh, pads and rotor. Why did I not say that right? Anyway, here we go. Dust. And these wheels were just painted what a month ago? Uh, yeah, just powder coated. Just powder coated, and it's painted that same color on the inside. Yeah, the whole S wheel. Son of a! I just washed it yesterday. So yeah, that's really one of the reasons why we're getting rid of because uh, whoever put the brakes on again did cheap brake pads. So we got five eighths on the two small bolts on the brake calipers. If you do it just right, you can get that bar in there and pull, and it pushes that brake pad into the piston. You can see that they're pretty flush now. You can really see it, yeah, and it comes right off. And that's an easy way to actually push those in without having to mess with anything. And the stand, we don't need it for the truck for safety. We need it for the, <laughs> we just use it for that. What size is that? That was 15 16 15 16 to take off the caliper bracket so we can get the rotor off because he's replacing the rotors too. It's gonna come off. Look at that. There's new brake, oh, these are the old brake pads. Yeah. There's a lot of brake pads still left on there. But that's what happens when you buy junk out of the bottom line is you get the brake dust that you just hold. You wanna wipe them, clean them up, and he has this grease here so we're well, just gonna re-grease them so that they really slide back and forth because if your brakes don't slide back and forth that they don't release or whatever it's just tough to come out of there there we go got lube to hold up we don't like a dry hole do we <laughs> oh there you go work it in and out not rotate come well, on you gotta get the whole thing it goes mm, maybe we get it Yeah. Right. This side. Okay, we got it all cleaned up. You see inside there, it's clean as hell. It's popping his hair in there. And like always, using brake cleaner because these come in the bag and everything else, and I'm sure everybody else knows, but there's oil on them. Use brake cleaner and rags, get that shit off there. Hey, it fits. And just like reverse. You want to put the grease on there first or no? Uh, we can grease it once we park. So now, all the new uh, fittings, he's gonna put some grease on there and it allows those brake pads to slide back and forth. Put it on all four of them. Just try not to get it on the rotor. Piston rides. Just to keep from sticking or anything? Keep it from, you know, so it shifts or whatever. So here you can see where the brake pad actually slides right in the slot. You got your springs here. There's your springs and it actually springs, it takes and pushes the brake pads back out. So they're not riding on the rotor the whole time. As far as torque, everybody's got their own reasons, but Will's a pretty good, strong boy. He pretty much, uh, he'll be fine. I've seen him snap off lug nuts. Some people, you can actually use a regular wrench and you can hit it with a hammer. You really get them tight. A lot, a lot of people don't have torque wrenches. There you go. Now you can really see it, the difference. Go back to the beginning of the video. You can see how dirty it was. And it was like a month's worth of brake dust. And that's what happens when you get cheap brake pads. So don't be cheap.